Hello, everybody, and welcome to week number two of the NFL season as we are at M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland, as the Ravens get set to play host to the Oakland Raiders. Last week, the Raiders fell short against the San Diego Super Chargers, and today they'll see if they can take down this Ravens team that is very talented as Alvis Witted takes the opening kickoff. We are underway. And we'll take a look at the starting lineups here. Same starting lineups basically for the Raiders, with the exception at right tackle, they're going to try Adam True for the Ravens. It is a star-studded lineup with rookie Demetrius Williams and Brian Rimpf starting at right guard in place of an injured player. So... That Ravens defense, we all know, super talented, led by Ray Lewis. We'll see if they can stop this Raiders attack as Lamont Jordan takes the handoff going right side. Then Jordan left side, almost picking up a first down at the 30-yard line. Andrew Walter dropping back for his first throw. It's intercepted. The first throwing attempt of the day for Andrew Walter is picked off. And Jamal Lewis has the Ravens into the red zone. Here goes Jamal Lewis again, left side. He is brought down after a short gain, second and six. Jamal Lewis again brought down, just shy of the first down marker, third and two. Steve the Air McNair, RIP to him, is sacked. Bringing up a fourth down, and Matt Stover will put it right down the middle for the Ravens to take a 3-0 lead. Walter with the pitch to Lamont Jordan, and he is brought down for a three-yard loss. Second and 13, Lamont Jordan straight ahead. One-yard pickup, a little play fake to Lamont Jordan. The throw to Anderson, the tight end. That goes just past the 40-yard line and a Raider first down. Here's Andrew Walter rolling to the left, throwing it to Lamont Jordan out of the backfield to the 40-yard line of Baltimore. First and 10, Walter under some heavy pressure. He goes down. And the Ravens with a huge sack make it second and 18. Here's the throw from Walter, and it's dropped by Randy Moss. Not what you want to see your star receiver do, but look at Curry. Ronald Curry with a nice catch and a first down. Andrew Walter rolling to his right, looking for a receiver, and Anderson drops the ball at the three. Andrew Walter under some pressure, going deep and out of bounds. Throwing that one away. Third and 10, they're just going to give it to Lamont Jordan and leave some room for Sebastian Janikowski in this windy stadium. Nails the field goal to tie the ball game at three. Jamal Lewis taking it for Baltimore, and that's a gain of four. Jamal Lewis again hitting the backfield, but he ends up picking up a couple of yards where he probably could have lost yards. And Derek Burgess... Injuring his shoulder on the play. We'll see how serious it is. Third and four. McNair to Todd Heap. And Todd Heap over Asamoa is going to make a huge first down grab inside the 30. Burgess will return soon. Just a bruise on his shoulder. First and 10. McNair with a play fake to Lewis. Throwing left side. It's complete but out of bounds. Here's the toss to the left for Jamal Lewis, breaking a tackle, breaking Asamoah's tackle inside the 15-yard line for the Ravens. And Asamoah, after that stiff arm, has injured his head. Maybe a concussion. That'll do it for the first quarter of this one. Tied at three, Raiders putting up a fight. First and 10, McNair going to draw play up the middle to Jamal Lewis. Just a gain of a yard, then a play fake to Jamal. Look at this, Mark Clayton coming out of the pack with a huge touchdown grab. Lamont Jordan left side for the Raiders on their next possession, a huge gain. And Asamoah does have a mild concussion. He will be out for the rest of this game. 8.43 to go, second quarter. Walter with the pitch to Jordan, nowhere to go. He fumbles it. Zach Crockett able to get in there and recover. Andrew Walter rolling right, throwing and nearly intercepted. Didn't have enough heat on that one. Third and 12. Walter looking for Jerry Porter, and he drops the football. Raiders have to punt. Jamal Lewis picking up not much. Gain of two. Here's Steve McNair. Left side incomplete. McNair again dropping back to throw. All kinds of time finds Williams, the rookie. Three of five for 77 yards and a touchdown for McNair in the early goings of this one. 
McNair now looking, surveying, nearly intercepted, but it is a roughing the passer call on Warren Sapp. So that is going to give an automatic first down to the Ravens offense into enemy territory. McNair sidestepping, but he is sacked by Hamilton. Bobby Hamilton getting in there. And McNair hit again as he throws. The rookie Williams with the catch going to set up a big third down. But Steve McNair appears to have injured his chest. Kyle Bowler taking over and he is sacked right away. Raiders get the ball deep in their own territory after a great punt. But there goes Lamont Jordan, a huge 20-plus yard carry. And McNair will be out for the game with a bruised sternum. Walter under some pressure, and he cannot accurately get that one away. Now Walter going to Randy Moss for the first down, his first grab of the football game. Here's Lamont Jordan on the toss to the left. Nowhere really to go. Andrew Walter now rolling to his right, looking for someone to get open for him, but no one ever does. That one's incomplete. Third and ten. Now, looking up the middle, he's got Rivers, the backup tight end, with a huge catch. That gives Lamont Jordan a carry on first down, and the Ravens were ready for that. Loss of one. Andrew Walter, Randy Moss, what a grab behind him and everything. Diving out for that one. Third and three. Here's Walter, and he goes down. Fourth down, and Seabass on the long field goal is no good with 138 to go in the half. Ravens with a chance to add to the lead. Here's Kyle Bowler, and he is hit as he throws, incomplete. Second down, Bowler going right side. That one is complete to Moore. Now third and two. Ravens electing to throw, but Bowler's going to go down. Fourth down on the sack. Raiders with the football. Walter to Lamont Jordan. He's got some room to pick up some yardage, but the time is a ticking as they go to Lamont Jordan on the misdirection run. It's third down with 25 seconds left. Ravens committing to the pass, but they don't account for Randy Moss getting behind the defense. That's a big mistake by their defense. Here's Walter looking to throw again. Hit as he throws. 15 seconds left. Second and 10, here's Walter left side and completes. Third down, here's Walter. He's got plenty of time, but he runs out of it and now not in a position to kick a field goal. Walter's gonna go up top deep and Moss beating the defense for the touchdown to take this one into the half, tied at 10. A miracle for the Raiders on the deep ball. That takes us into the half, and you can see we are one of the 1 p.m. games this week, so all eight other games playing all at the half, and all within a couple of scores. Halftime stats, Raiders putting up a ton of passing yards, a lot of yardage, but the turnover killing them in this one. Actually have more time of possession as the Ravens starting off in the second half with a Jamal Lewis run, and that one goes... For double digit yards. Here's Bowler giving it to Lewis again, but not a lot of room that time. Kyle Bowler now looking to throw, hit as he throws, but he finds Ricard, Allen Ricard. No, not Patrick Ricard. I know there's a lot of really good fullback Ricards. And Bobby Hamilton injures his head on the play, and that can't be very good. Here's Jamal Lewis running left side, and that one is inside the 15 yard line. Here's Jamal Lewis again inside the 10 before Kirk Morrison slamming him down. First and goal, here's Anderson this time, C.J. Anderson inside the five. Now they're gonna go to Anderson again, and Anderson is into the end zone with a Ravens touchdown. He blocks on that one, so the Ravens taking the lead, and Lamont Jordan with a nice five yard carry, and then Walter can't even get the handoff off into the backfield. Here's Walter up the middle to Lamont Jordan. That goes for a first down. And then play fake to Lamont Jordan. He's going to go up top. Randy Moss downfield, and he makes the grab at the five. Huge catch. Lamont Jordan's brought down at the five, and a holding call on True playing right tackle. That's accepted, so a first and goal. And Anderson with a nice catch inside the five-yard line. 
Samari Roll. I don't even remember where he got hurt, but he has a broken jaw. That's going to sideline him for five weeks as Lamont Jordan takes this one inside the five-yard line, and it's third and goal. Walter, got to find somebody here. He is brought down at the 12. Terrell Suggs, a.k.a. T. Sizzle, a three-year pro at this stage in his career. Three sacks on the ball game, and Seabass will put a field goal right through the uprights, making it 17-13. One score game still. There's Jamal Lewis on the run, and then another run for Jamal Lewis, setting up a third and manageable here for Kyle Bowler. But Bowler is brought down by Derek Burgess, who is back in the game now, and that is how the third quarter comes to a close. 17-13, Ravens on top. Now into the fourth quarter. Here's Lamont Jordan, left side run, and that's going to go for a first down and a very important one for the Raiders. Try to get this drive started off correctly. Here's Walter looking, but he doesn't have anyone to throw to. Trying to get that one away. Nearly intercepted by Raymundo Lewis. Here's a play fake to Lamont Jordan. He's going to go deep right side. Not enough air on that football. He needed to get that one deeper. Here's a commit. Pass commit by the Ravens and the coverage sack. Then take a peek at this punt right here. It is muffed. Michael Huff with the speed trying to get to it. He cannot. Ravens backed up at their own two-yard line, and Jamal Lewis will take him out of there right away with a brilliant run. 280 yards for the Raiders. More time of possession. The scoreboard check has the Ravens on top. Here goes Jamal Lewis up the middle, and he is stuffed. Second and eight. Jamal Lewis left side, and Burgess with a brilliant tackle. Saving some more yards. It'll be third and seven for Kyle Bowler. Bowler going to go right side. He's got Todd Heap, and that's going to go for a first down and more. Huge completion. Here goes Ricard, the fullback. Not a ton of yards there, but he does pick up four, which is more than you would think. Sap hitting Kyle Bowler. Could have been another roughing the passer call. Doesn't matter. It's a first down for the Ravens, and then Jamal Lewis on the draw play. Picking up three yards. Here's Bowler dropping back again. Right side throw, a very slow throw, but it gets to Derek Mason. First time we've called his name. Now Bowler up the middle with Anderson. And that's a big eight-yard gain. Putting Jamal Lewis into the game here on second and two. Play fake. Bowler hit as he throws. Could have been picked off. He got lucky. Here's a third and two, and Jamal Lewis will pick it up for the Ravens. The smash mouth drive for the Ravens as Jamal Lewis takes it again for a gain of four. Second and six. Jamal Lewis up the middle. Nobody home. And Lewis into the end zone for the Ravens. Touchdown. That is huge as they will take a two score lead here with an 11 point lead. Lamont Jordan brought down in the backfield. Ray Lewis getting through the gap. Here's Walter looking deep for Randy Moss, and what a grab by Randy Moss on the 1v1, and that puts Andrew Walter over 300 yards passing. That pick proving to be a little costly in this one. Lamont Jordan up the middle, good yardage. Second and inches, they give it to Jordan again, and I don't know that he got there, he didn't. Third and inches now, gonna throw and incomplete, so it's a fourth down. Sebastian Janikowski puts the 25-yard field goal up to make it a one-score game. But the onside kick and all that other stuff doesn't work out, and the Baltimore Ravens will win the football game 24-16 at home. And it was turnovers that did the Raiders in in this game. Lamont Jordan, 75 yards. He did have a fumble. Two receptions for 29 yards. Andrew Walter, 316, a touchdown and a pick. Randy Moss went for 218 in this game. McNair, unfortunately, injured in this one. Would have liked to see McNair take us on. As here are your final scores for week number two. Other teams in the division, the Chargers beaten up on the Titans. And the Chiefs beat the Broncos, so at least one other team in division losing this week. We have a lot to worry about next week as the 2-1 and one Browns will come into Oakland and take us on at a 4.15 p.m. game. The Browns boasting the 20th points per game rank. We are 28th right now. 
They do have the number 10 defense in the league. We have the number two defense right now. So this is going to be a battle of defenses. Which one can hold up? Let me know in the comments section what your score prediction for this game is. Those of you who bet on the Ravens in this one, you are correct. But we're going to try to do better next time. Thank you all for your support and have a great day.